preschool age children to leave the area within a five mile radius of the Three Mile Island facility until further notice. Please remain indoors, doors shut, windows shut, fans not operating until you hear word that it is safe to go out. In March 1979, Unit 2 of the Three Mile Island reactor in Pennsylvania suffered a loss of coolant accident and melted down. For several days, plant operators fought to keep the reactor core from exploding. To avoid such a catastrophe, operators released several hundred tons of radioactive gas into the air and eventually brought the power station back from the brink. No nuclear plants have been ordered and built in the United States since then. In April 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power station in the Ukraine exploded following an engineering test. Thousands of soldiers and workers sustained massive radiation doses in an attempt to quench the molten fuel and contain the disaster. The radiation plume spread around the world. 350,000 people in surrounding areas were evacuated and can never go back. Sharp increases in cancer rates and child mortality across the region were the most immediate consequence. Altogether, more than five and a half million people still live in contaminated zones. The nuclear industry has tried hard to downplay produces radioactive materials. Radiation affects our bodies in different ways depending on the kind of radiation and whether the dose is internal or external. It is possible to shield against external sources of low energy alpha or beta radiation. But if inhaled as dust or swallowed with food, these radiation emitting particles can lodge in our lungs and other organs. Once embedded in our bodies, Radioactive chemicals bombard nearby cells at close range with enough energy to rupture cells and damage DNA. Internal exposures are particularly dangerous as some radioactive isotopes accumulate in specific parts of the body. 